Have I changed my face shape? Yet. If you follow random ass people on Instagram or along the internet, you will think that these chin straps and chewing these random devices are going to change your face shape. And let me tell you, that is not the truth. Facial anatomy, your bone structure, the way the muscles hold onto them, and your skin, lots of things go into your face shape. And there are ways that you can change it, but there are also some very scammy things online. All over TikTok, all over the internet. I mean, honestly, if you can buy a $25, what is this, a chin strap, and it replaces a $2,500 set of injections or a $8,000 facelift, that's awesome, right? Yeah, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> From chin straps to facial yoga to actual fillers, surgeries, and yes, tools, let's talk about the muscles of the face and how they work. And let's also talk about what I personally use. I do have a little bit of a chisel in my face, and there are certain things that I have done to get that that do not include injections at this time. But let's talk about all of those things. We are partnering with a company from Korea who is on the cutting edge of aesthetics, technology, and skincare. And the fact that the people behind cutting edge technology understand and see the value in the research and in breaking down the myths for the internet and the beautiful butterflies makes me very happy. So this video is in partnership with Medicube. You can find out more about them in the description box, but we'll also talk about them once we start talking about what's going on with these faces. So if you are to open Instagram or TikTok and you see these chin straps, they're basically claiming that you're, you know, fixing this fat in the chin area. Not true. First off, if you have a double chin, that could literally be the angle that you're sitting at. A lot of people, if you stick your neck forward or if you stick your tongue to the roof of your mouth, you actually contract specific muscles with the tongue, like the hyoglossus and the genioglossus, and it actually changes your face shape. This is a modeling trick and a technique that I've always used, and look at how well this works. Look right here. I'm like a frog. But literally just changing my jaw shape can do that. Now, if you do have a little bit of bulge down here, what are some of the options? Don't use these chin straps or these cheek straps. That's not gonna change the shape of your face. Your jaw structure is primarily determined by your mandible. It's this bone right here. But you can also have tissue or fatty tissue here as well. A lot of people are worried about that double chin. The only things you can do that are really permanent or serious is that you could get liposuction where that's actually taken out with a cannula or you could get kybella, which is basically this acid that is injected into the skin, which our bodies and our stomachs make naturally, but it's injected in there to dissolve the fat. Now, if you don't want to go into the knife, what can you do if you don't want to actually get a facelift or get, you know, skin removed? There are things such as microcurrent devices that claim to help. Now, is this going to be a facelift? Absolutely not. But sometimes what happens here is actually fluid retention and fluid buildup. And so something like lymphatic massage, something like this that grips, or microcurrent devices that safely shoot micro amounts of electricity into the skin can actually stimulate muscle in this area to tighten, just the way when I tightened my tongue and put it to the roof of my mouth, same kind of idea. But you're also stimulating some ATP, some adenosine triphosphate inside of the skin, and potentially also stimulating some collagen and some elastin to be formed. I'm a huge fan of microcurrent. I've been doing it for a few years, and that is what I really attribute to helping me with kind of this cheekbone area, and even a little bit here on my brows and forehead. Full transparency, I do have a specific facial structure and high cheekbones. That is something that I have always grown up with. I have a very high roof of my mouth and my nose doesn't work very well and that is just my anatomy. But if you look at everybody's faces, we all have specific muscles. We have the zygomatic process, the bone, and then we have zygomatic muscles that attach to that. What allows us to smile is a muscle like the rhesus that actually pulls at the angles here. And on the forehead, we have frontalis muscles and corrugator supercilli and these different muscles that, yes, can impact our brows. Now, yes, some celebrities and some Instagram models and people get facelifts where you actually cut and tighten the skin and then re-suture it. Other people actually get filler. You can actually get cheek implants or, you know, hyaluronic acid or other fillers placed in the nose for a non-surgical nose lift or into the cheeks to kind of plump up this area. You can get liposuction here on the cheeks. But again, if you don't actually want to go under the knife, if you don't actually want to get Botox to these areas so that it lifts the brow, what can you do? A lot of people online are selling these ridiculous yoga poses. This, hey, hold your thing like this and massage like this and oh my gosh, you have a brand new set of facials. Just buy my 30-day subscription package. No, facial yoga is not a thing. At least not a thing that works. Is massage wonderful? 
Yes, if you have this lymphatic fluid buildup, if you have a lot of fluid retention, if you sleep on your face, massage can be amazing. That's why I do love some tools like this. And especially microcurrent, it can help to push fluid throughout the skin. But is just this facial yoga really going to help? No, if anything, it's just relaxing. But there are some people who are literally saying that you can change your bone shape with facial yoga. No, the only way to change your bone shape is if you do bone shaving, or if you literally get injections, like a non-surgical nose lift where you change the shape of the nose using fillers. Now, microcurrent is something that will not change your bone shape at all, but what it does do is target the muscles. Remember, this microcurrent is kind of like a gym workout for your face. It's shooting microcurrents of electricity into the skin and causing those muscles to contract. And in doing so, they can temporarily tighten or lift. And this is the HR device from Medicube. I freaking love this. This is like that Madonna device coupled with radio frequency. Now, you do know that I use and love other microcurrent devices devices. That is something that has been a part of my routine for years now, and there are other brands that I've tried and used. This one is available for the body, and I must say, oh my god, if you have a tight sternocleidomastoid, if your trapezius hurts you, this feels so freaking good. Because this whole brand comes from Korea and they're actually made with experts in the field, they've actually done cosmetic and clinical testing to make sure that this is safe and effective to European, to Japanese, and to American beauty standards. And oh my god, this feels so good. You don't understand. And right now I don't even have the microcurrent on. But what's happening is that these little balls, let's just call them balls, like they're actually gripping the skin and they're pulling it together. So it's literally one of the most relaxing massages. And I've used other things like this, both on my face, on my cheeks, on my arms, etc. One of my friends, one of my best friends is named Victor. He lives in LA and he's a makeup artist. And he bought one of these from Madonna and his didn't even have the microcurrent. It was just the roller device. And he's like, Cassandra, use this. And the shape of it, I was like, Victor, what is this? No. And he's like, no, Cassandra, trust me. I was like so scared. And then he's just like, I was like, oh my God, this is heavenly. If you have not experienced this, this is worth its weight in gold. And I must say, this is one of the best tool experiences I have ever had. If you do not have a personal masseuse or someone who can rub your back, this is literally the second best thing. And again, the fact that I can use it on my neck, on my chest, and yes, on my cheeks and my face, it is absolutely phenomenal. One thing I like to do is start here and kind of grip and move upward. There are facial muscles right here that are absolutely amazing. Again, making sure that you get that zygomatic process right here is really, really wonderful. And all of this lymphatic fluid that can really pull up in the skin, you actually start to get that moving and circulated back into the lymphatic system and throughout your body. And especially if you're someone who sleeps on your face or on your side like I do, sleeping on your back can help, but also using something like this in the morning, oh my God, it is absolutely amazing. Now, that isn't even when the device is on. Let me turn this on and show you what it do. They do have this HR booster gel that does go with the device. The great thing about this is that it conducts electricity, so it allows that microcurrent to flow. Because a lot of people don't realize they like to use oils with their jade rollers or their gua sha's. You know, that's great, it's relaxing, but if you use an oil with a microcurrent device, that current can't flow. Have you ever tried to get electricity through an oil? Yeah, it's gonna be pretty rough, but electricity through water is a big deal. That is why we don't put toasters in bathtubs, okay? Okay. So you do need a conductor gel, but I've actually been very displeased with many conduction gels in the past because I felt that they were overpriced. This one does work with a device, but this actually has really good ingredients, such as hyaluronic acid. There's water in here that it can bind to, so it can actually soak into and hydrate the skin. On top of that, this has niacinamide, so if you're someone who does struggle with redness and you want the firmness, the elasticity, and kind of the glow that ceramides give your skin, niacinamide can cause your skin to naturally produce more ceramides. This is lovely. It works really well with this, and it has a vegan, soluble collagen, which is basically these small chunks of peptides or amino acids. And these can actually absorb into the skin more readily. Now, topical collagen is not a thing. Again, you have to get that fragmented version if you want something to actually work. But this stuff works really well on the device and it is amazing on the skin. So I put this on the little beads and this is going to make sure that they are fully coated and they start to conduct these microcurrents. And again, the reason that I call this like a gym membership for your face is that if you go to the aesthetics office and if you get microcurrent once, it'll 
shift your face temporarily for a few hours. But if you just go to the gym once, is it really going to change your body physique? No, you need to keep up with that for weeks or months at a time to get realistic, right? So I piss off a lot of estheticians and a lot of practitioners because, you know, people want to make money. But if this is something that you need to use regularly in order for it to work, don't pay an esthetician $150 for a microcurrent facial. Go buy a device for 200, 300 bucks, which is the price of two of those facials. And you can use this every day and have the lasting benefits. And yes, you get the immediate depuffing for four to six hours after, but you're actually getting the whole package and you can continue with it. And again, this one works on the body as well. I'm just gonna show you what this is like. It is heavenly. I wish that you could feel this. It's like a little, ah, oh, it's like a little shocky shocky and oh, it takes you by surprise, but it is completely safe. Again, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, or if you have a pacemaker or specific conditions, then you might not want to use it. I have been cleared by my doctor to do microcurrent and my neurologist, which is great. I love the way this feels. It makes me salivate. Oh, cause it tickles the bottom of my tongue. Ah, it makes me salivate and I love it so much. This is just the most relaxing thing and it feels so good. And this one, I can actually feel a little bit. It does have different settings, so you can really go hard if you want to. The other thing is that this has like this light that shows on it. I don't believe in these little light benefits. There are medical benefits to LED. Those have, ooh, those have been shown in medical studies and professionally proven, but I feel like you need to have a stronger amount. So the light, is it a nice feature? Yes, but for me, this is about the microcurrent and this is about the physical lifting of this roller, which literally just feels so freaking good. I wonder if you can see my face twitching as I do this. And the way I really like to do this is again, up this jaw and into kind of my neck and kind of up the cheek as well to these temples. And then after that, I actually go up these frontalis muscles up my forehead to give a little bit of a lift to the eyebrow. And sometimes it tickles the hairline. This does have five different settings, so you can choose how intense you want it to be. And I don't know about you, but myself and our wonderful editors, like we are using the computers all the time. If you ever wanna use this on your body, if you wanna use it on your arms, oh, on your wrists, it is so good on your elbows. And for the body, I do up it quite a bit. I have to make sure that I have a good amount of microcurrent gel on, but this is literally the most relaxing thing. And it turns off after 10 minutes as a safety mechanism, but holy guacamole, this is one of my favorite things to play with. And if you're actually looking to change your facial shape at home, this is going to work way better than those stupid facial facial yoga techniques or these chin straps. Like you're actually using microcurrent technology to penetrate into the skin along with these targeted massagers that actually help to stimulate that lymphatic fluid. And then if you do use this, you know, even alongside some serums, as long as they do conduct like this gel, you can actually penetrate some of these ingredients deeper into the skin, you know, by way of stimulating some of the pilosebaceous unit and some of those super tiny, teeny, tiny, non-skeletal muscles that hold the hairs inside of your skin. This is absolutely amazing. And again, one of the best things oh, is right here on the neck. Oh my gosh, can you guys see me twitch or no? Um, if I do it on a really high setting, you can see me twitch, but holy guacamole, this is so relaxing. And for me, my family has some Hashimoto's, so I don't go directly over the thyroid when it's on. I will do the thyroid area and the front of the neck when um, I don't have the microcurrent on. But when the microcurrent is on, ooh, I try to get the platysma, which goes from here to here, the sternocleidomastoid, the scalars. And then if you do do it on the back, oh, you can get the trapezius and it is so freaking good. I have to move my my necklace is out of the way. Oh my God, I am a new human. This is amazing. And again, if you're looking to change your facial shape, you could get fillers, you could get a facelift, you could get Botox, those things will work. But if you're sitting here using chin straps and facial yoga and chewing on these random balls, that's not gonna work. Do you guys remember those turkey baster neck things where like you had to sit there and like move your neck up and down? My grandma bought one of those from like as seen on TV and even one of our beautiful butterflies who actually works with us now, she was telling me that one of her family members tried to persuade her to use that. And I was like, first off, that's so rude to say to a young child about their face. And then second off, grandma and hey, this wonderful person that I know and love and who is beautiful that I get to work with, these things don't work. They don't work. It's just crazy how these companies sell these things and you're not tightening the skin under the jaw. You're literally just causing, if anything, more wrinkles and tension. It's not something I would recommend. But over time, my Self, other people, and again, this company from Korea has done clinical tests to prove how it works. And microcurrent in general is one of those things that you can do at home that again, as long as you don't have a contraindication is really relatively safe and pretty easy to do and actually so relaxing to do 
in the morning time, in the evening time, or in your you time. What you do want to make sure is that you are targeting those muscles. So again, look at facial anatomy and follow that. And make sure that you do take before and after pictures because that can actually help you see a difference over time, you know, and know where you can actually focus your massage. Or if you stop doing it for a few days, does your face shape change or does it stay the same? The other thing that is important to mention is fluid retention. You'll see a lot of like articles and things online saying like, oh, you have to diet or you have to like cut out carbs to have a better face shape. No, usually cutting out carbs is for water retention or fat loss, which would impact the whole body, not just the face. And again, most people who have adipose tissue in their face, they lose that fat tissue that their body is using or consuming it normally comes from other areas first and not just from the face. So do keep that in mind. Now, if you are someone again, who sleeps on your face or on your side, then, you know, massage, something like this can help so well. But when it comes to like eating more or less salt, remember that the body likes equilibrium. So yes, if you eat too much salt, you can get bloating and water retention. But if you eat too little salt, you could also get bloating and retention and potentially encephalitis, which you don't want. That is swelling of the brain. If you are trying to gain or lose weight, I feel like you should speak with someone or an advisor in order to do that properly and to have realistic expectations of what's going to happen and how your human body takes care of yourself. This has been one of my favorite things. I absolutely love this. Even if you just get it for the roller, it's like, why does Madonna's skincare line and tool set even exist when this exists? Like, just put this on my face all day long. And then it does have the microcurrent benefits, which are absolutely wonderful. The LED benefits, I feel like that's more of an indicator of if we're doing body versus face, but this is absolutely amazing. And if you're looking to change your face shape, there is a lot of shit out there on the internet that does not work. And if you don't want Botox or fillers or needles or facelifts under the knife, these are some of the things that you can do and what actually does work. Now, please keep in mind, this is the HR device. This is not a facelift in, you know, a tool. This is not going to give you this face, okay? That is not the expectation we're setting here, but can it help you to get a little bit more of a chiseled cheekbone? Can it help to lift this area? Can it help to stimulate muscles, collagen, remove fluid from the face? For most people, yes, it can. And most importantly for me, you know, can it massage my face and can it make me feel good? And can it help me actually de-stress and feel just so relaxed and salivate when I use it? Absolutely, freaking lutely it can. If you want to learn more about MediCube and about what they do in Korea and the technology they use, I have listed that below. And if you do see more of these scammy, you know, facelifting hacks with facial yoga or like tying bathrobe strings around your face, can you please tag me in them so that we can react to them and break down the pseudoscience? That would be great. Thank you. <laughs> Always remember to stay hydrated, reapply your sunscreen. Remember that aging is a privilege. Not everybody gets to do it. And to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.